And new at six, we're staying on top of a story on a female transgender student at Section High School. She says she was denied entrance into the prom because school officials told her she needed to not wear a dress and change into slacks. Way 31 reporter Maddie McCaffrey joins us live with more on this story. Maddie. Nikel, we still have not heard back from school officials about what this student, a parent, and others say was a very disappointing situation at Section High School's prom on Friday when this transgender female student was not allowed into the prom because she was wearing a dress and would not change into slacks. Now, I just spoke with a therapist here in Huntsville. Jessica Panot has more than 20 years of experience working with adults, children, and transgender youth. She says hearing about this situation is discouraging to her because of the impact it can have on a student's mental health. She says the number of LGBTQ youth who struggle with their mental health is very high, and when they do not have adequate support, it can make things worse. Acceptance is the, the biggest part. I mean, when you're dealing with, with youth, you're dealing with, especially when you're dealing with transgender youth, um, as many as 50% think about suicide, have thought about suicide according to the Trevor Project within the last year. We have huge numbers that have actual, are actually attempting and um, do successfully commit suicide. 70% um, have depression and anxiety. Um, it's a constant struggle. Almost 60% uh, meet with rejection by one or more st family members when they come out. And Jessica says the most important thing school staff should be doing is ensuring that all students feel accepted and supported when they are at school. Now, if we hear back from Jackson County school officials on this story, we'll let you know both on air and online at waytv.com. For now, I'm live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Maddie McCaffrey, Wait 31 News.